Hey everybody, James, with Love My Pops, uh, my beauty supply. So I had a conversation with a customer yesterday who had a dog with a hematoma, and I've actually been through this myself. So a hematoma, what happens is, is a dog ear gets a busted blood vessel in it. It's typically because they, maybe because they've got an ear infection, they've been shaking their head and they've bashed an ear on something, or they've been roughhousing, but either way, they've got this really swollen up ear that's full of blood. And so, you then got to tackle this. It's not a life-threatening situation. It's a cosmetic thing. If you don't do something about this, is you can end up with a dog that's got this nasty cauliflower ear. And we had a girl that it happened to because mm -hmm. we didn't do what I'm going to show you now. So, the technique is is that you're going to drain the ear and then you're going to put a kind of a splint on the ear. So I'm going to show you the splint part, and then we'll go get a dog and show you how it's done. You're going to drain the hematoma yes. of the ear. Yes. Come on, this here, Tony. So. This is, you don't have to use this, but this is what I'm gonna use. This is a dry erase pen. And so I cut this dry erase pen with a kitchen knife so that I could take out the guts of it. And then I took out the other end. And I may have to have time to push it through. I stuck it in there too good. This will work. There we go, poke it through there. There it is. I've got a tube. So what you want is a, is a tube, and it's got a bit of a rough edge, to be tough. But what you want, this is super light, very, very light tube, because you're gonna take this tube and you're gonna wrap it around the ear. This is what stops the ear from filling back up with blood and getting a nasty uh, cauliflower ear. So next video is gonna be with me trying to strap this onto a dog that doesn't have a hematoma, okay? Okay, so now we are gonna take this and we're gonna talk about how you would Get, get rid of the hematoma and then, hey look, hi kids, hi, you're gonna be my old patient. This is yeah. Kit, isn't she beautiful? Okay, Kit. All right, so what's gonna go on here is the ear is gonna be full of blood. And so the ear is expanded, it's full of blood, and you've gotta get rid of the hematoma. So the first thing to do is to go get yourself a syringe, and an 18 gauge syringe is probably the best thing. And, come up here, Kit, come here. Let's put you up here. Oops. So, if the hematoma is swelled up here, get to the very bottom of it, stick the needle in just a little bit, and then don't even put a syringe on it, and then just start squeezing the ear down, and all the blood's gonna come out. It's gonna make a pretty good mess. I mean, you've got a teaspoonful of blood in the ear itself. So when you've got this down, you've pushed all the blood out, and the ear is now nice and flat, that's when you put the splint on. So the splint goes on like this, like this, wrapped around, it could be a bit shorter than this, and then you basically just take some tape, and you could use electrical tape, you can use some, uh, um, you know, some white first aid tape would probably be better. But basically what you're gonna do is, I'm not doing a very good job here, wrap that around. You can see, wrap that around very tightly all the way around that. I've got this too long. So, but basically what you gotta do is you've gotta stop the blood from being gorging and filling the ear back up again. I'm gonna take this off now so it doesn't stick to it. Oh, sorry kid. She's been a good girl. Find our first aid tape. No, but this is all right. It didn't take too bad. So again, the, the whole the whole idea. This is a little bit long. It wants to be about that long. But you're going to get that in there, and you're going to tape that up all the way around, nice and tight, all the way around well, I can't the ear. Your hands are in the way. Like that. Yeah, all the way around. So, so you've got this thing sticking up, right? So the, the whole idea is, is that if you don't do that, if you drain it, what you're gonna find is, you're gonna be it, it all the time. it'll be filled back up with blood within about half an hour, it's filled up oh, back yeah. again. And you keep on doing that, and there's a very good chance that deer is gonna be all crumpled up and look like this when you're done. And it'll look like yes. crap, and you'll never get, you'll never get it repaired. Yes. Never get it repaired. So it's just cause- rain that had that. Yes, yeah. still got it. Yeah, yeah still got it. Yeah. She's an old girl. She's still got this one ear that's all folded up like, her ear looks like this, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks like hell. So the kids, yeah, <laughs> you don't have a crop. You've got pretty years, don't you? Yeah. So again, the idea is get that thing wrapped up tight, and then just leave it on there. And you can, you know, if it starts to fill up with blood again, you can redrain it and do it again. Anytime that you're using a needle, it needs to be a brand new needle, and you need to go get some alcohol and wipe off the area that you're going to drain the blood from. Don't stick it in the middle. Stick it on the outer portion of wherever the bubble is, so that you can then squeeze. Squeeze all the ear down. It won't hurt the dog. The dog will not complain about it. But you want to work all the blood out. Spend a couple of minutes. Get all this nasty blood out. Tape it up. And then I think you'll find that you will have a beautiful ear again, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
All right, bye everybody. Watching the, the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here. And certainly this should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye. Thank you.